I was taught that building a house is a lot like building a dream. You have your blueprints, your tools, your team, and most importantly, your vision. We use the pencil to write down our goals, our dreams, and our aspirations. We use the tape measure to measure our wins, our progress, and our levels of integrity. We use the hammer to smash through our limiting beliefs. We use the saw to cut through the stories that no longer serve our greater purpose. And we use the nails to hammer in the decisions that shape our futures. At 17 years old, I was given an ultimatum by my high school principal. He didn't like that I got fired from co-op, embarrassed the school, and ironically, on the same day, accidentally hit a teacher with a snowball. You can drop out of high school now and come back next year, or I can expel you, he said. I dropped out of high school and went straight to work construction with my father. For 15 years, I worked side by side with him as a carpenter. That's 15 painful winters, 15 scorching summers, 15 muddy autumns, 15 chilly springs, as we ambitiously co-created the momentum that would take us from poverty to comfort. I went into the career of carpentry young, angry, and inspired by the visions of grandeur related to my three favorite books at the time. I was driven by the desire to think and grow rich, the magic of thinking big, and the power that would awaken the giant within. I remember wanting to matter. To matter, mattered. Growing up, I was ashamed of my upbringing because my social circle had me believe that because my parents bought my clothing from Goodwill and because we didn't have money to buy pizza on pizza day, that meant that we were poor. I made that mean that I wasn't enough, that my parents weren't enough, and that we would never have enough. So I grew up with a chip on my shoulder and a sensitive soul. I longed to be loved and I longed to be whole. Embarrassed by the beauty mark on my nose that they made fun of, they called it a mole. Scared of my classmates, parents at work, no one home to console. Ultimatums and lack with this lifetime of personal attacks that led me believe that I would fall through the cracks. Me, another troubled youth to add to the stats. Looking back, I can see that I was protected. My parents are believers, dreamers, and high achievers. They're the living example of triumph over adversity. My dad taught me his system for building homes, and I now use that same system to build dreams for myself and others. I can honestly say that it's because of that system that I'm now crushing it on every level. My father asks me why I don't use our last name publicly why I don't give love to our surname that is synonymous to our achievements. Well, the truth is my name is Marcos Andres Tolu. That's T-O-L-U. Mendoza is a stage name. Mendoza is the city that I was born in. It was Marcos Tolu that built those houses and manifested those dreams. Who I am and who I am becoming is inspired by the legacy of men and women that are a part of my ancestry. Men and women of integrity that have inspired me on how to evolve. The evolution of my purpose has had me persistently organize, reorganize, design, redesign, structure, restructure the blueprints to build dreams to the point where I can declare that my lifetime of failure in the past is the reason why I can stand here and declare that I'll be a success in the present. I'm grateful. Building a house is a lot like building a dream. Building a dream is a lot like building a home. All you need is your tools, your team, your vision, and most importantly, love. We may have come from nothing, but that doesn't mean that we are nothing. We did it together. As a family, we evolved. The funny thing about the word evolve is that if you look close enough, you'll find love in it. I can now see why I developed the audacity to persist against adversity why my resilience has inspired me to build confidence and self-certainty how my undying grit to never give up on healing my never-ending story that i'll never be good enough because i didn't go to university is incomparable to my passion that i embody universally it is because of my unwavering trust faith and conviction that i have humbled myself to believe that i can safely live purposely we're a family of carpenters we build houses we build dreams 
I'm proud of my last name and the people that gave it to me. So to them, thank you for teaching me how to dream. Because after all, building a house is a lot more fulfilling when you have a team.